Good day, lovely people. You're welcome back. Now, look at this thumbnail. Can you remember the thumbnail? Remember this video? Well, if you have not watched this video, just click up. A card is popping up right now telling you about this video. Now, this video is all about you've seen green leaves and um, or green objects in your dream. What does it mean? So someone some time ago requested that um, what are the prayer in the Bible passage or Bible verses that you can use to pray whenever you see green objects or green leaves, fruits in your dream. And um, I'm doing this video based on the request of that person. And um, so stick around and watch this video to the end. Remember, I'm going to link that video to this particular video. So in case you have not watched the video, go ahead and watch the video. This is Ghost Throne Television. My name is Titila Yoadilani. If this is your very first time on stumbling on this channel, I want to say welcome. Welcome to Ghost Throne Television. It's nice to have you around. This channel is all about spirituality and lifestyle. If this is your very first time on this channel, I upload videos on spirituality. I give spiritual tips. I do dream interpretation. Now, this dream interpretation, not from my head, but according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And if any dream should impose any form of danger, I make sure I give you solution on what to do so that you can stop the impending danger of this particular dream now if this sounds so sweet and so interesting to you why not stick around and press the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my videos stick around and join this big family you won't regret it you will so much be blessed and to all our old subscribers my whole subscribers thank you for your subscriptions thank you for joining this family thank you for being part of gastron television all right now to today's video now based on the request of this person he said um what are the bible verses that you will need to pray if you have um this kind of dream so i want to share with you just two verses of the scriptures that you will constantly pray with whenever you have this dream yes whenever you have probably you have had this dream in the past and you're wondering i don't understand the dream and you came across the video and you now know what the the meaning of the dream and you're asking how do i bring this into reality i told you in that video that if you have actually seen those objects in your dream it's not for you to just sit down and relax but you have to enforce and stand on the word of god and bring all this to reality and how do you bring it to reality? By standing or waiting in the place of prayer because God is a faithful God. He can never lie. He can never ever forget his children. If you have actually had this dream in the past, I want to share with you. You will be using two verses of the scriptures to pray. Yes, two verses of the scriptures to pray. Now, the very first one you will be using to pray is found in the book of Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 14. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 14. Now the Bible says, I will feed them with good pasture. I will feed them with good pasture. And on mountain heights of Israel shall be their grazing land. There, there they shall lie down in good grazing land. And on rich pasture they shall feed on the mountains of Israel. Now, in that verse of the scripture, I want you to take note of something. He said, I will feed them with good pasture. Now, when God is telling somebody that I will feed them with good pasture, he's telling you of abundance. Good pasture, not just anyhow pasture, but good pasture. 
So it's going to feed you with good pasture. Not just any help pasture, but good one for that matter. That is what God is promising his children. You tell God, you know, when you're praying, you pray with understanding. It's not for you to just pray anyhow. You know, one of the things that we, one of the ways that we can receive and receive quickly from God is when we pray the word of God back to him. And not just only praying the word of God back to him, but we must pray with understanding according to the leading of the Holy Spirit, with the help of the Holy Spirit. When you pray with understanding, by that you are enforcing the word of God. Now listen to me. I told you that those things that happen to you around in the spiritual realm is what you see in your dream. Lot of things are going on in the spiritual realm. And those things that you see in your dreams at night, it's just a glimpse of what is going on around you. So I said something about that in one of my videos. So if you have not watched that video, just click up a particular card is coming up. I'll, I will link that video to this particular video. You can go ahead and watch that video. So he said, I will feed you with good pasture. He said, and on mountain height. Now when you say mountain height, mountain height, that's 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 not the level of mediocre. That's not the level of low people. Not the level of small people but the level of high people so god is going to bring you abundance in that scriptures there are things you could pick out from that scriptures number one you will bring out abundance god you have promised abundance according to your word he said i will feed them with good pastures that is abundance and on another thing he said and on the mountain height of israel shall be their grazing land which means you will not mingle with mediocres you will not mingle with low people you will not mingle with ordinary people but you will be associating with people at the top that is the word of the lord for you so if you understand that scriptures you will make use of the scriptures because it is the word of god he said i will put you and on the mountain height of israel shall be their grazing land you will leave you will begin to operate on the higher land and it says, it says, they shall lie down on good grazing land. You will lie down on good grazing land. You will flow on good grazing land. A land that is flowing with milk and honey. And on rich pastures, not just any our pasture. Remember good pasture. And this one is again, he is repeating it again. On rich pastures. Now you begin to claim it. He said, I claim abundance in the name of Jesus. I claim a mountain height. Height, higher level, high level of great people, high level of wonderful people, people that are high up there. You begin to claim it from that scriptures, yes. And it says, and on rich pastures, they shall feed on the mountain of Israel. So at the higher top, you will not just feed on anything, but you will feed on rich pastures. If you are the one that is looking for the fruit of the womb, you begin to claim it because fruitfulness, fruitfulness is part of the pastures. Now, that will now take us to the next um, Bible verse that I will be um, sharing with you. Now, this particular verse of the scriptures, most people don't, they, they just feel, but I want to tell you, it's so powerful, very, very powerful. If you know the efficacy and the potency of the scriptures, you will take it, you will take it with all your mind. Now, the scriptures is Psalms chapter 23. Psalms chapter 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. Now, this is how you pray with those prayers. You say, because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now, because you have seen all those green objects telling you that freshness is coming your way, then you remain and tell God that, God, you are my shepherd. You are the one leading me. In other words, I can never want. I cannot lack. If you're out there looking for the fruit of the womb, you tell God, I cannot lose it. I have a, I, I am fruitful because the Lord is my shepherd. Now, in now said in verse, you say, it makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters because he has led me in green pastures. I can never, never lack good things of life. That is how you put it, begin to declare it because he has led me in the green pastures, I can never ever lack the good things of life. So those are the two scriptures. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 14. And um, Psalms chapter 23 from verse 1 to 2. You begin to claim it. Begin to claim because this is the word of the Lord concerning his children. This is the word of the Lord concerning 
his children yes this is the word of the lord concerning his children and as long as you begin to claim these promises you begin to stand on the word of god you begin to claim these promises i want to tell you expect a miracle expect unusual breakthrough expect unusual favor expect greater miracle coming your way now if this video has been so helpful to you you have watched this video up to this time why not click that subscribe button join this channel and if this video has been so helpful it has helped you one way or the other give this video a giant thumbs up like this video share this video someone might need this video yes someone might need this video share this video and leave a comment for me i want a feedback or you don't understand your dream you don't know what it means what's or you don't know you've had some dream in the past you are looking forward to interpret it or you may feel that uh, someone you have been looking for someone to talk to but you don't have anybody to talk to why not drop a comment for me in the comment section i would definitely reply to every of your comments thank you so much for watching this video up to this time thank you and see you again in another episode bye